Hello there, Fateless. Kato Genesis here, bringing you a guide for Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning, and Reckoning for that matter, and I'll be going over the locations of the skill books that will permanently boost each of the nine skills in the game. Skills being alchemy, blacksmithing, lockpicking, and so on. There's two things I want to mention here that are pretty important if you're looking for the maximum possible skill bonus by the end of the game. First is to not use the skill books until you've gotten both of the basic trainings for that skill. This is especially true if the race of character you chose has a plus two racial bonus. Dakofar, for example, have a plus two to their stealth at the start of the game. Basic trainers only train levels zero to three. So if you had used said skill book, before getting both of those basic trainings, you'll be forfeiting one of them, never being able to get that remaining basic point to stealth. The second thing I wanted to mention along with this is that you're probably never going to get all of your basic training in one shot, and that's where Fate Weavers come in. Once you've pinpointed the locations of the trainers that you need, reset via Fate Weaver, and before distributing any points whatsoever, systematically go through each of those basic trainers and get what you need. Again, all I'm really saying here in a long drawn out way is not to use any skill books until you get both basic trainings if you want to maximize the skill points you're getting. Alchemy is our first stop and it is located in the Plains of Arathel region in the secluded zone known as the Cradle of Summer, one of the areas that the main quest takes you directly to. As long as your Detect Hidden skill is level 5 or greater, there will be a secret door in the cliffside not far from Ural Tusk, the area you're supposed to meet General Talera. Moments after stepping inside this hidden passage, the rock pile just off to the left will contain the Alchemy Skillbook. What faction do you associate blacksmithing with the most? If you guessed Warsworn, you are correct. Apologies for the rhetoric, because the Warsworn quests are the only way you're going to be able to get the blacksmithing skillbook, and it is actually close to the end of the Warsworn questline too. So during the quest, the Mystic Hammer, you were sent to the Hall of the First Sworn in Daytir to reforge said Mystic Hammer. Once you reach the forge itself, one of the chests in this room will contain the blacksmithing skillbook. This is another situation related to the faction quests. Detect Hidden is a skillbook found through the Travelers or Roguish Faction questline. Now the Detect Hidden skillbook is actually interchangeable with another skillbook, the Stealth one, when it comes to being a reward in a couple of the quests. These two quests are Going Rogue and the Purloined Letters. These quests both happen after you've reached Moon Camp and helped them there for a little while. So for example, if you get the Detect Hidden skillbook in Going Rogue, you should get the Stealth skillbook in the Purloined Letters, and vice versa. The House of Ballads is among the first factions that the game leads you to, and in part what is needed for the next skillbook, which is Dispelling. When you meet up with the House of Ballads, you start by taking part in the Song of Sir Sagril, after which you will get the Ballad Signet Ring. This is used to unlock a lot of Fey locations, including the Ballads Library in Webwood. This is where the book lies, while it's not tied to a quest per se, a quest is required to get into the library. So once you do gain entry, and quests lead you here anyway, the Dispelling Skillbook is inside a Fey Cache in the upstairs room. Next is the Lockpicking Skillbook, which is back in the plains of Arathel. On the north end of the eastern section, so I guess northeast, on the Forsaken Plain, is Oriator's Tomb. Now there is a quest tied to this place, but you can just enter and help the people inside and complete the same quest, but saving them is not at all required in getting the book. In the entrance hall of Oriator's Tomb is a locked chest. Unlock it, and ironically, inside is the lockpicking skillbook. Next up is the Mercantile Skillbook. This is technically a part of your reward in Daytir after you've helped the Modus Mining Operations in the Hollowlands. So finish up the quest, Miners in the Sand, and you will be granted the Excavations Office, the Mine, the ability to upgrade both, and once you enter the house after you've bought out all of the upgrades, go upstairs and inside a bookshelf should be the Mercantile Skillbook. The Persuasion skillbook is probably the most tedious to acquire, and it does have a quest of its own, called Paper Trail. Odessa is split up into two main locations, you have the main city and then you have the Isles. If you go to the Isles and go to the Livrarium, there will be a book sitting on a table with a quest marker above it. This activates the Paper Trail quest, also advisable when you first come to Odessa because you're going to be running around a lot, and basically all you have to do is find each of the books 
of this collection. And the final reward is a Book of Persuasion. I had to exercise the most patience with this one because you're going to be climbing a lot of stairs in gnomish buildings. East of Odoroth and the House of Ballads is Glendara, where the Sagecraft skillbook is located. In the northwestern corner of Glendara is St. Hadwin's Mission. At any point in time, if you show up with a Detect Hidden skill of 2 and check the well, inside said well will be a likely soggy but still usable Sagecraft skillbook. The Stealth Skillbook is next, and since we went over Detect Hidden, it's acquired in the same way. Join up with the Traveler's Guild, take part in the quests Going Rogue and the Purloin Letters after reaching Moon Camp, and if you got Detect Hidden through Going Rogue, you should get the Stealth Skillbook through the Purloin Letters. And that fate list is where to find the skillbooks for each of the nine skills in Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning. If you found this guide useful, entertaining, or both, please do whatever it is you see fit to show that. Among the many things you can do is supporting on Patreon at patreon.com slash Genesis. Deciding to support this will not only help me out greatly, but put you in the credits of future videos and give you access to my monthly updates where I share a personal story and my face. Thank you so much to my patrons and Wasteland Legends Sven. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Kato Genesis, and may you wander Amalur like you own it.